Hi, it's me again with Crow Doll Tips and Tricks. Part two, I have locked this item. Well, I thought I did. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to go to object and lock it. I guess I was just thinking about it. Now, this picture doesn't have a white background, but you can see the bounding box. And there's something there, and it's not very clean on the edges. So we're going to trace this thing. Uh, it's already pretty small, so I don't have to do anything. Uh, you know what? Let's try this. Let's make a duplicate and move it over and turn this into convert it to a bitmap grayscale and then trace it. Well, let's tell you what. Let's see how big it is. Uh, resample it. It's at 300, so it's fine. Then I'm going to trace it. Outline trace clip art. And we get that. It's kind of a weird looking deal, but I'm going to nudge it over. So this is our trace version. I'm not worried about the inside, what it looks like. I am going to zoom in here and I am going to take my, well, first we have to ungroup it, go up to object group and ungroup. And then hopefully we can get rid of this trash. So what we're going to do is just try to not take away any of his um, characters of his face and just go all the way around and uh, get rid of some of the trash that is not needed. I'm not worried about, you know, that inside part. I'm just trying to get a little bit. Now this is connected. So what we can do is take the shape tool and just delete some nodes, kind of get a better shape. Then we got a little bit of, and see, I'm not, I'm not worried about those, but I'm going to take the shape tool and delete those and delete. You can, you can delete stuff with the shape tool too, just by selecting everything. I need a, a completely enclosed pattern and that'll work. Um, I'm just trying to get rid of some of the trash. Because then we, so you don't want to do that. But most of this is on the outside. Now this is what I call a whoop de do right here. It's where two nodes are across their path. So what we can do is delete a node and delete a node. Whoop, delete a node. I don't care about that gap. Uh, delete a node, get a sharper image. I think we're almost there. A couple more little bitty tidbits. And that right there is kind of neat. So we'll take the shape tool and just delete that node. A little bit. Of, see, I can delete that with the shape tool. I'm not too worried about anything else. It looks pretty good. I am going to take that node off. And I could actually take the shape tool, the smoothing tool now, and smooth out that hat a little bit, smooth out around his shirt. He's got a part on his ear, but we can do that with the shape tool. Go back to the shape tool and just grab those two nodes and grab those two nodes and just delete them, see what happens. You could bring that back into where it kind of was. Now, like I said, I'm not worried about anything too much, not on the inside. We'll get the smoothing tool. The smoothing tool is just going to make it. See, so I'm going to select on that outer gray. Now it's affecting the inner gray because I'm using it or got a deal too big. So now I'm going to take my rectangle tool. I'm going to take my smart fill tool. Let's use something beside black. And now we move that over. We got the shape of the gentleman. We can actually now fill that in. And if you remember, this is our original. Try this and keep our fingers crossed. Let's select them both and intersect them. Look at the trash that's gone. Pretty cool. Now what we need to do, because this is locked, we need to kind of cut out the shape of this bottom. So I'm going to get the Smart Fill tool here and fill that in. And, and remember, I'm nudging the whole time. I'm not moving, I'm nudging. Pretty important. And I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna make his head a little bigger. 
That would be personal preference for whoever's doing it. And I'm going to, what am I going to do? I want to get rid of this. I want to get rid of this bottom part of his torso. Um, how would I do that? Anyway, that's enough for one video right there just showing you how to do that. Let me uh, think about this and I'll make part three. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.